Okay. Well, I'm Santeri from Finland, living in Spain right now. I'm a father of my my boy Ivar. Ivar is eight months, eight, eight and a half months old, and I'm a husband, the business owner, father, and uh, jiu-jitsu fighter. <laughs> The trials was more like I proved to myself and, and also everyone else, but I proved to myself that I this is my level because I know I knew it in me for many many years, but I, I was always falling a little bit short. Off season when there is no tournaments, I'm like 94 maybe. Uh, when now that I started the camp, I was around 93 kilos, so I'm. I'm in my 90s, usually today I was like 91 point something, so I have like 3 kilos to cut, so it's no problem. I eat extremely clean though, during the camp. When I'm not in a camp, I eat like ice cream and whatever I want to, but usually camp and when I train, I can't eat anything bad, it just affects my performance. But right now it's been, I eat, I mean I'm, a, I'm here, so I eat whatever they have here available, but I eat very clean. But I don't cut a lot of weight either, I cut maybe 4 or 5 kilos max for this tournament. Well, on the way. no, I mean after trials, I, I took like I would say a couple of weeks off, like not off, but like I trained a little bit less, because then the whole thing shifted. Because my plan was if I don't win the trials to do much more tournaments, but then I won the trials, so it like everything else goes out the window and you just prepare for the the worlds. So I I, I had some seminars uh, after the trials for like two weeks, and then I like hop straight into training camp and. Uh, I train my ass off in Spain with the local guys and, and my gym there and I also travel to Poland to train with Mateusz Szczesinski in his school in Kosalin and, and now I'm here and here and I also went to Finland to train with some of the guys so it's pretty rough all I can tell you. Right now I don't have any black eyes which is a surprise but like the whole camp I've carried a black eye. I broke my nose a long time ago so it's been rough but extremely fun. I accept it because I think it's in everyone's head before you go there. So I'm very accustomed. I think everyone at, at our level where we are, I think we've all had hundreds of matches. So you either sink or swim in this aspect. And, and I think we're all scared. I think we're all nervous. I think the person who says they're not afraid or they're not nervous is a liar. So I think we're all that, but it's something that a fighter has to go through in their head it is the nerves and the, the anxiety and the fear. And, and I mean, I'm just as scared and nervous and, and fucking worried as everyone else, but I try to not worry about it because the moment the fight starts, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who's nervous, it doesn't matter who is worried, you're gonna, you're gonna compete and that's that. So I accept it, I deal with it in my head and, and I embrace it. I feel really good. I, I feel excited. Finally a tournament where I, I literally go in thinking that it's gonna be a really good time. Because like every other tournament I'm always like, like, like the trials, I was like I must win, I must win, there's no other way around this. But this one all I need to do is perform, perform as well as I can and I think I will do extremely well. I, I feel very happy to go there. I feel Happy, hungry, extremely hungry, and, and like finally this is my shot. I've been working my ass off for this one, and, and and some people I think the opportunity scares them a little bit. I think people go there sometimes. Trials winners they go there for the holiday, for the experience, and and I I, I will not do this. I go in there to fight as hard as I can, and and come what may, if I I win or or lose, I will I will fight as hard as I can. And, and that's all. I've been training so hard for this one now, harder than I ever have in my life. So I, I think the work, when you put in the work, you can enjoy the, the rewards. And I don't know, I just want to fight. I just want to fight some good people. <laughs> yeah.